Hey, welcome to another episode of the People's Limit, episode 232. I'm sorry, I apologize for not uploading videos in quite a while. Um, it's been very crazy uh, with my job being as demanding as it is, especially in the winter time, especially this month. Um, just um, this winter, this month of February alone is like the John Cena versus Brock Lesnar WWE World Heavyweight Title match at SummerSlam of last year, 2014, where the winner has been Brock Lesnar and the region of New England has been John Cena <laughs> as of late. Um, <clears throat> so, and it may end up continuing on Sunday night into Monday morning, unfortunately. Rumor has it a two to five inches, which is not that bad considering that, with the Weather Channel saying five to eight, but. <laughs> I'll take the two to five, but hopefully lower than that. Uh, it's been a crazy, crazy winter, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. We only have, what, three more weeks of winter. Three more weeks, folks. Three weeks from today is going to be spring. I'm hoping and I am praying that the weather will comply, be in compliance with that. So, <clears throat> so it's been... Like I said, very, very stressful winter for me and my job. That's why I am considering um, going to look for a new job and hopefully make some changes this year. Hopefully the spring and summer will be a lot better than the winter, especially the fall of, the, of this winter. Because I'll tell you what right now of this year, because it's been it's been crazy. It's been stressful, you know. <clears throat> but uh, however, however we move on. WrestleMania is around the corner. A lot of craziness is happening there. Bray Wyatt at Fastlane has decided to call out The Undertaker for a match at WrestleMania. Will the dead man respond? Hmm. I think the best mind games The Undertaker from playing right now is not saying a word. Not even reveal, his ident reveal where he is. Not even, you know, he wants to keep that mystique of The Undertaker. I don't know if Bray Wyatt knows it yet, but I'll tell you one thing. If you want to tell anybody to follow the buzzards, The Undertaker probably grabbed the buzzer by his neck and probably killed it. I don't know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> WWE World Heavyweight Title Match is set for WrestleMania. Uh, second generation superstar uh, Roman Reigns to challenge Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Heavyweight Title. Um, when I say second generation superstar, uh, Roman Reigns is the son of WWE Hall of Famer Sika, one half of the Wild Samoans. And speaking of Hall of Fame, this year the Bushwhackers, whom I got the honor of meeting and having a picture with. Back in the um, year 2000, I believe it was 1999. I think it was, no, I think it was 2000. I think it was 2000, um, <clears throat> 2000 or 2001. Um, I got a picture of them at the Wellness City Festival. They'll be inducted this year along with Macho Man Randy Savage and in the celebrity wing, the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Very fantastic, yeah, you know. And uh, there was there was a slight mis uh, misunderstanding because the WWE is advertising the Flintstones. Uh, uh, them and the Flintstones working together on a DVD project, which um, the movie was supposed to be out this past Tuesday, but unfortunately, they moved the date back to March 10th. So I, also, I think, I believe Night in the Museum, Secret of Tomb, is going to be out on DVD March 10th as well. I'm, I'm considering getting Big Hero 6. I heard a lot of great things about it. It seems it seems pretty cool. Uh, I, I want to know what you guys think about Big Hero 6. So, um, well, yeah, a lot of things are going on at the mall. We're um, uh, 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 despite the obvious snowmageddon we've been having, uh, <clears throat> we're having our uh, theater, AMC theater, made over. I mean, remodeled everything. One half of it's already done. They're working on the other half just now. So it'll be, so it'll be a very funny situation about um, what's going to happen during the spring and summer and all that. And uh, yeah, a lot, a lot's going down. A lot of things are happening. Some things are going to be. Made some changes being made. The Pawtucket Red Sox got bought by a group in Providence, uh, group in Providence led by Larry Lucchino. They're, they they want to move the the team to move the team to Providence. So, I mean, it's almost right near where we oh, where are. So just like one ninety five. Imagine you were driving around with a home run ball fly, ball flying up. Like holy crap! What happened to your car, Eric? Well, ball hit my windshield. <laughs> you know, who knows what that. That would be really funny. You know, you drive to drive to uh, Attleboro, Emerald Square Mall. Do, 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 do. Holy cow! Somebody hit a home run ball. So, and uh, everybody's reported for spring training. And uh, unfortunately for Boston, they got to get Fenway Park. Uh, um, somebody's gonna get Fenway Park out, man. And I'll tell you what, right now <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work. All that snow in there. I'll tell you one thing. I think we're gonna hit. I think we already hit the uh, hundred 
hundred uh, inch mark. I think we'll be over that by the time by the time this winter is all said and done for. But the good news is when March comes around, usually the temperatures go up a little bit and the snow totals will fall down a little bit. We'll, I'll find out what's going on. And what's driving me crazy about this uh, about this job is oh, we have to keep checking on the weather. We have to keep checking on the weather. I just like, you know, I rather check on the weather. And you know, I think I think for uh, for uh, us kid, when you, when we get kids, we don't have to worry about checking on the weather. We'll just see what's going on outside. Yay! It's sunny. We can go out and play. Oh, it's rainy. We're gonna go stay inside. You know, or oh, uh, yay! It's snow. We don't have any snow. Oh, we only have school. And as adults, ugh, snow. We gotta drive in this thing. You know, that's how I think of what it is. Is when we were kids, we get excited about just about everything. When it come, when we become adults. It's like, okay, you know, <clears throat> it's like, ew, you know. Why? You know, so that's what we complain about. I think I think everybody's got to realize that it's just the, uh, it's just the, uh, you know, it's just the um, facts of life. Maybe you know, I don't know. <sighs> so let's just look on, on the bright side. Silver lining. Three more days. I mean, three more days. Three more weeks of winter. Three more. March twentieth hits. Friday, March twentieth hits. Hopefully, prayerfully. We get some spring weather, and and all those snow banks. Hopefully, they be eliminated by May or June, at this rate, you know. <clears throat> so uh, let's see what's going on. Well, there's nothing going on with the Patriots so except for the um, we had the NFL combines and all that. Adrian Peterson of the Vikings got reinstated. Now, goodness knows whether or not he'll be playing for the Vikings again. Will uh, time will tell. I'm just looking at pimples on my. I just got out of the shower, guys, and that's why I'm more clean shaven than usual. That's why I wanted to do the show and look clean shaven. And yeah, I'm gonna need a haircut soon. I mean, my hair looks nice right now, but uh, it's been all over the place. And uh, hopefully, I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping that uh, once once the weather break, starts breaking and starts warming up a little bit, I uh, you know, get a haircut. You know, looks clean shaven. Uh, look clean shaven. And just hopefully, you know, go out and get another job. And that's probably one of my goals right now, making changes, you know. <clears throat> but I'll do it during, you know, you know, during my vacation and all, you know, April, May, somewhere around that area. Because um, basically, he's just, you know, basically, he's, you know, well, you know, enough's enough. And just, I don't know. I tell you what, the year 2015 started off uh, not the way I wanted it, but you know what? You know, a week from tomorrow, um, a week from tomorrow, a week from today, next week is my birthday, March 6th. I'll be turning 38 this year, and uh, I know make all the jokes you want, make all the jokes you want. But I really don't care. You can hate all you want. You know, that's the way it's. You know, way my life is right now. There's nothing, nothing I can do. You know, just go with it, ride with it. You know, <clears throat> and. Um, I'll probably delete the, the negative comments and anything. Anyway, so it's no big deal, right? Yep. So next week will be my birthday. Don't know why I got. And uh, my mother's my mother's already telling me that there's some very get some gifts on the way, and uh, be very interested to see what um, what they got me, you know. And uh, <clears throat> I've been uh, building up my gift card account from Amazon.com. You know, I'm almost over the two hundred fifty dollar mark, so which is pretty good. Um, <clears throat> Let's see what what has been going on. Not a whole lot, considering what, like I said, what Mother Nature has done to us. Um, like I said, March is right around the corner. Tomorrow is the final day of February, and um, all I can say about February is <laughs> winter heck or oh, winter hell. That's what it all is. Nothing but. But the, here's the silver lining to what's been going on this winter. One is I don't have to worry about spending overtime at the Dartmouth Mall. We, uh, not overnight, overnight, spending overnight at the Dartmouth Mall. Couldn't afford couldn't afford the money to pay for that, which is good. That means I can get spend some time, spend the overnight here sleeping, and waking up next morning. That's the only downside. The only downside is you have to come up and drive. Hopefully the roads will be clear by then. Who knows for sure? The early call is two to five inches on on, on, on onto Monday morning, so it'll be a slippery commute. But you know what? Be a commute nonetheless. Um, let's see. Two is I didn't have to didn't have to stay beyond seven thirty at night. That's another good thing. So 
So like everything is everything is worked out as planned. Everything has worked out so far. That that that's one thing I'll I will have to, you know, those are the good things I can take from that. So I don't know what's going to happen the month of March. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. If spring comes around. Pray for spring. We want spring. And uh, I'm looking forward to spring. I am. I'm looking forward to spring. I'm looking forward to summer. I'm looking forward to the fall. I'm looking forward to spring and summer. And I don't care how hot it gets this summer. Uh, this summer, I'm going to be thankful. I don't care if it's 100 degrees and wearing pant long pants at work. I mean, six to ten in the morning. It doesn't doesn't heat up that much till the afternoon. I'll probably bust out the shorts by then and the t-shirts and probably walk around and go, <laughs> you know. And it'll be my first spring using my new phone, which is uh, using this bad boy in spring. And here's my debate. Here's my question, though, whether or not I plan on going to the Portuguese Feast. Without the Wellness City Festival this year, we barely don't have anything. Unless they bring back the carnival, which I'm, gonna, I'm planning on going anyways because I don't have to worry about taking some time off because the carnival now is at noontime instead of the usual 9, 10 o'clock during the time of the Wellness City Festival. The festival is gone. It's been eliminated. I... Not look at you know this is probably the first probably the second summer I'm not looking forward to for a long time as far as uh no festival possibly I'll possibly go I'll possibly go to the Portuguese feast and that probably the only the only closest thing to the Wellington City Festival that I can I can think of the only thing is they don't have any wrestling there we just get some wrestling there I I don't think you know they have the rides but I don't know <clears throat> and something to cons there's something to think about something you know, um in consideration but looking forward to spring and summer. Looking forward to driving, um, singing the Power Rangers Dino Charge theme song so loud, you know, go crazy. Probably, I'll probably do some MP3 players, do some room cleaning. I don't know. Probably go home right away and just relax and just play some, uh, play some Nintendo or something. I don't know. I'll see what happens. It's uh, like I said, the journey has not been very easy for me um, this winter so far. We got three more weeks to go. Three more weeks to go. And then winter is done. Spring will arrive. Spring weather will arrive. You've got to keep the faith out there, New England, New Englanders. Keep the faith for spring. Yes, we're sick of the snow. We want spring. Don't be negative. Be positive. All right? So, look forward to spring. Looking forward to spring. That's the name of this show. Uh, so, that's all the time we have on the show. Be cool. Stay solid. Remember, kids, be like Billy. Behave yourselves. Have a nice day. Go shop at Kmart. Save the Texas Cherry Chicken. Thanks for pressing your luck. And hope everything you're going for hits the bullseye. See ya. Later. Episode extinct.